am a human. Human. The species with by far the most evolved brain on the planet. If you're so smart, why is your skeleton inside? So it doesn't distract from my gorgeous body outside. Unlike you, we insects have evolved instincts precisely in tune with our world. Instinct is overrated. Brains all the way. Instinct. Brains. Instinct. Brains. Whoa. Ah! Ah! Don't move a muscle. <sighs> no need to panic. This is nothing some calculated thrashing can't fix. Zach, stop! There's only one way to escape a spider web. Instant. You have to feel your way out of it. All points are connected. Stop, Zach! Listen to an insect on this! Or at least pretend to! Huh? What? Feeling evolved, Zach? Just get me out of here, Willow. Say the magic word. Well, actually, three magic words. You're a pain. Won't do it. Will do it. <laughs> Fine! I was wrong! Magic enough? Abracadabra! <laughs> Just plain, boring instinct is all. You'll get there. Give or take about 40 million years. This week brings our motley crew a sweet surprise. Unfortunately, it seems Zack is his own worst enemy. And that could lead to a sticky situation. <laughs> There's that wretched pair of do-gooders again. If there were only a way to grab that slippery little brat once and for all. Oh, every time my army gets close, he slithers through my fingers. Blast! Oh, such perfect timing. Buzz around that kid up there. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Did that it? Gotta be faster than that, Butterball. I could have gotten out of that on my own, you know. With my brains, there's nothing down here I can't take. Sorry, Mom. It didn't squash them. Squash them? <laughs> Sweet, deluded Lydia. We don't want to squash our carefree crew. We want to take them alive. But how's the lollipop going to... Lydia, what did I tell you about questioning Mama's schemes? Absurd. What is that? It's a lollipop. A giant ball of delicious, hardened, fruit-flavored sugar. Kids love them, dentists hate them. Well, my dentist does. Whoa, bonus fact, they're really sticky. You definitely don't want to touch it. And ever since then, I never eat Mexican before my yoga class. Sugar, it won't be long before the ants show up. So much for instincts. No, guys, no, don't, don't. Let's just turn you around. Sugar -licious. Shocker there. Chowser wouldn't turn down free candy if it was tied to the face of a dung beetle. Sid, 
Give us a hand here. I don't have hands. Ugh. Oh, no. Hey, I'm here about the sugar. Right here, buddy. Hop on. No, 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 no. You really Please. don't want to. Uh... Yeah. Uh. I don't get it. What's the point of getting a bunch of ants stuck? Ants? I don't care about the ants. I've gotten Zack and the insectable stuck. Those disgusting do gooders won't leave that spot till every ant is free. Nat! 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 Stop doing that! Insectables are pinned down near the water pump. I need you to secure the location. Capture the enemy and report back to me. Aye, aye, aye sir. sir. You can leave now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, will you put a sock in it? I'm We're stuck. working on it. Hey, I got it. We cover the lollipop in dirt. Pop. Lolly pop. Whatever. It will de-stickify it, give it traction, so everyone can pull themselves off. Sid, hit it! Uh, okay. Now I'm stuck and I'm dirty. Ah, uh, just, just pour salt in me. I'm telling you, I got this. Uh, you're a license and bond and thriller, right? Just shut your eyes. I don't think your drill is meant to cut sideways. You don't say. Man, this is my third worst birthday ever! What was your second? When I got caught in that spider web. See, the thing about spider webs is... All points are connected? I was going to say they give you a rash. May I please tell the rest of my That's story? That's it! Oh, come on! All points are connected! <gasps> Willow, you are a genius! I am? Yes! Okay, Sid, I need you back on crowd control. Yeah, for all the good that's gonna do. Guys! Not now, Chowser. Willow, I need one more burst of energy out of you. Just follow my lead. Guys, I, I think you need a One look. moment, Chowser. Willow, I need a dozen holes in that lollipop. What good will that do? Guys! What? what? <laughs> ah, hurry, Willow! But it won't work! It will. Trust in my brain like I did with your instinct. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Oh. Oh, great platform by that. They can all be connected. Wow! Uh, and that kid always is how 
how the lollipop crumbles. Seems we have a little roach problem. Chowser? Chowser steps up to the plate. The crowd goes silent. He winds up his neck and he swings! <laughs> 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 I gotta admit, brains and instincts can work together. You don't need to apologize, Will. Who's apologizing? I know you're gonna do something stupid and I'll have to save the day again. You save the day? No, 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 no. I, I save the day. Hey, no, well, I'll come back here. Uh, Not a word, Lydia. Not a word. Uh, what is taking him so long? Gramps is probably boring Willow to death with stories about the fascinating powers of ants. Commonly known as nature's strong man. And let's not forget about their unparalleled architectural genius. Gramps, there it is! Yes, it's one of the Shrinkinator's missing gears. We've hit pay dirt. You sure that's a good idea? I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh-oh. Run! All right, Gramps! Hold on! Don't run, baby! There's no good Woo-woo! Can I get a holla? All cheer Willow the Brave! She's the boldest! She's the fastest! She's the number one all-time awesomest! And number one all-time modestest. Oh! Sorry, but who bravely rescued the missing gear and Gramps at the same time? Was it Zack? Don't think so. Who bravely busted us both out of that crumbling cave? Begin to the Z? Nope. Just call me Willow! <laughs> Willow! Squirming in the clutches of a hungry magpie. Our Willow the Brave looks more like Willow the Worm. Her predicament is most delicious. Ah, uh, where am I? Wow, all this shiny stuff. If I didn't know any better, I'd think I was in Grandpa's pocket. See how high up I am. Really, really high up. No! Why doesn't she just fly out? Yeah, maybe she's being eaten. Maybe she's being digested. Maybe she's being. Mm. All right, stop. If anyone can hold their own in a fight, it's Willow. Any minute now, that magpie is going to fly away, calling for mercy. See, what did I tell you? Okay, we need to get up there before it comes back. When you say we, you mean me, don't you? Oh, and my personal goal for today was to not get eaten. And my personal goal for today was to babysit an old man. Mission accomplished. And she better be up here, or I'm gonna be beat. Willow, you're all right! Impressed by my manly heroism? <laughs> Look, thanks for visiting, but go on without me. I'm enjoying the view. I, I can see your house from here. Really? Because I can see your trembling hands from here. <laughs> well, I can smell your sticky armpits from here. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, well I can... Guys, can we do this later? Uh, you go on ahead. I'll just start a new life up here. Maybe open a deli. Whatever that is. Wait a minute. What's going on? Are you afraid of heights? Willow the Brave? <laughs> hey, and you were just bragging I'm about... not afraid of heights! I'm afraid of really, really high heights! And I can't fly. <laughs> oh, man, this is funnier than the time you tried to ask a stick for direction. He was a stick bug. He 
just wasn't very talkative. Yeah, because he had all of those leaves growing out of his mouth. <laughs> Willow the Brave can't fly. Willow the Brave can kick your butt if you don't clamp it. Hey, guys, look what I found. <laughs> Uh, keep pacing like that. You'll end up in China, and I won't come get you. That magpie will be back soon. What's taking them so long? Ugh, looks like this baby's stuck. Come on, Will. There's nothing to be afraid of. There isn't? Did you know there's less oxygen at higher altitudes? <gasps> But I need that to breathe. Exactly. And it's like a million foot drop. And once you fall, that's it. You just go faster and faster and faster until... <laughs> you hit like a watermelon. A watermelon? Yeah. That's the messiest melon. I know. <laughs> I need to break up the freak out fest, you guys. But can you give me a hand with this thing, guys? <laughs> oh, not you two. Got a plan, Stan? Yes, gonna do some reconnaissance. Sid, whip me up some slime. Huh? Slime, I need slime. And hurry, there's not a moment to lose. Uh, uh, okay, uh, but, but, but you need to turn around, you know? I, 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 I can't go when someone's watching. Turn around. <laughs> Excellent. <sighs> I told my mom I'd make her proud someday. This slime should have enough surface tension to form a serviceably convex lens. And voila! A slimoscope. Shakespeare's got nothing on you. Uh-oh, the magpie's returning. <sighs> this gear's not going anywhere. Sheesh, look at all this junk. Ah, hey, guys, get over here. I think I found a way down. Oh, we're not flying down, are we? I'm not gonna fly down. Are you gonna fly down? Relax, guys. No one needs to fly down. We're gonna climb down. Now, come on, before you know who comes back. <laughs> So, uh, what was it we were looking for again? Please say snacks. Anything shiny. There's something to lure that bird away. Keep your eyes peeled. Now you want to peel my eyes? Ugh. No, but I meant one. Ah, Sid, you're brilliant. It doesn't reach. It will once we're all on. I had a big lunch today. Chowser! You go first! You're the heaviest! I can't! I'm nervous! Ah! On second thought, out of my way! Ah! Ah! Bowser, just don't look down. <laughs> Too late. Just did. Think I'm gonna... <laughs> well, Sid, how do I look? You couldn't possibly look any more ridiculous. <laughs> Ah, I stand corrected. Yooming Melon Freak! It's working! Looks like I owe you five bucks. Whatever they are. Oh, on the count of three.
Chowser. I don't want to be a watermelon! Gonna help me rescue Grandpa. Did someone mention my name? Grandpa! But how? Darn bird had my missing measuring tape. Surprised you didn't think of that, Zack. Try to use the old noggin next time, kid. Whew, but I'm just glad you're okay. Okay? I've never felt better. Yeah, but you sure smell better. So, Willow the Brave. Any other phobias you want to discuss? Don't know what you're talking about. Hey, careful! Don't fly too high! Whatever! Well, at least we got another piece of the Shrinkinator. We're one step closer to getting home, kiddo. Yeah, about that, Gramps. Remember that fishing trip you promised me? Well... I may be president of the world. What I really want to be president of is this family. I love you, Dad. I love you, Courtney. Caitlin. Caitlin. <laughs> that was so beautiful. I need to call my mom and tell her I love her. Oh, wait. She doesn't have a phone. <laughs> Jack, are you crying? What? No, I just got something in my eye. <laughs> oh, I love you, Zach. I love you, Gramps. And that's my cue. Good night, everyone. Try not to flood the shed with your tears. Don't you have a heart? Don't you have any taste? That movie's awful. There's plot holes big enough to drive Chowser through. It's okay, Sid. Maybe one day. Maybe one day? Watch a movie that doesn't make me want to stuff cabbage in my eye sockets. Was that the door? Who'd be visiting at this hour? Only one way to find out. Dry your eyes, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, perfect. <laughs> Babies on the doorstep? Our heroes have taken on challenges too harrowing to mention. Yet there's one even they haven't conquered. Babysitting! <laughs> Will they be able to navigate the pernicious perils of parenthood? Or will their daycare turn into a day can't? Ah! <laughs> a basket of babies? Is this a joke? Who would just leave babies here with us? What are we supposed to do with them? Aww, they're so cute! And they're twins! What? How can you tell? All ants look alike. Don't ever let an ant hear you say that. They must have been dropped off by their mom or dad. Question is, <laughs> why? Well, quick! We gotta track down whoever left them. You'll never find them in the dark. They're long gone. You can take the babies back to the ant village first thing tomorrow and get some answers. Great. Now that that's settled, can we go get some sleep? Yeah. All right. No, stop, stop, stop. No. Oh, no, no, no. I'd recognize a cry like that anywhere. These little guys are hungry. Hungry? This sounds like a job for Chopper! Maybe they'll like something from my secret stash of Dr. Whoa! 
How much more does it keep under there? It's probably best not to think about it. is they should settle down now. <laughs> or not. Gramps, we still gotta find that part tomorrow. Are these guys gonna be a problem for us? Oh, no, no, no. Unless they don't settle down, then yes. Rambunctious youngsters can be pretty all-consuming if raising your father was anything to go by. Well, then how do we... Ah, get it off, get it off, get it off! Not my eyes! No, 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 no! Dark matter. Problem solved. I'm gonna go back to bed. Oh, no, you don't, Sid. Watch these two. We have to clean up this mess. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, no, me, no. Eh, don't worry, Sid. I've got just the thing to keep their minds off you. No ant baby can resist a skillfully made rattle. It's a scientific fact. A few shakes of this guy and you'll have two very, very relaxed baby ants on your hands. anymore. How long have they been going at it? About eight hours. Oh, how long have we been awake? About a million hours. Uh, it's hopeless. There's nothing we can do to ever, ever get them to stop. <laughs> 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 to get this rattle away from them. Worst invention ever! Oh, <laughs> oh. Is that a crib or a cage? Hmm. Not cute enough. No, plenty cute. Just shove those monsters in it and haul them out of here. And now that they're sleeping, you shouldn't have any problems. Good luck. I think I'll hit the hay. Okay, now what? Willow, you and Chowser drag him to bed. And get yourselves there, too. Sid and I will get the babies to the village. Wait, what? Why do I have to go? You're the only one who can pull the crib. The babies are asleep. They won't give you any trouble. They better not, kid. I know where you sleep. I better get a date out of this. No, my baby! Oh. Give me my baby back! You get it back? Once we train him as a henchman for a dealer. Yeah, you should be proud. And babies make great henchmen. They grow so fast and are good at learning. <laughs> like us. <laughs> yeah, we got an IQ of almost 100. Yeah, combined. No, put the baby in with the others. Kid, whatever you do, don't let them get the baby. So, run away. I think I can handle that. Hands off those ant babies. Huh? Step away from the babies and leave. <laughs> 
Look low. More babies. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Huh? Hey, where are you going? Come back here! <laughs> You're not going anywhere. You want some of this? Chows, I'm with Willow. I don't want to be anywhere near you after you eat a giant bean. Thanks. I didn't want to say it. Oh. Guys, you're making my tummy really sad. <clears throat> what is that? Everyone, go find out what's doing that and get it to stop. The Asimitron can't take much more of this. Okay, come on, let's go, guys. <laughs> I hate Mondays. A giant worm? Ho oh, ho! This might be too much for even our brave insectables. It'll be fun to watch them bite off more than they can chew. <laughs> Zack, if my hunch is correct, it's not a matter of if he'll be back, but when. You're talking like you know this worm. Uh, a worm with a metal jaw. Call me crazy, but did you have anything to do with that? 
Yes, I did. It was years ago. I had just started to construct the Shrinkinator when I found a worm. It had injured its jaw on the shed's concrete base, so I did my best to fix it. Wait, a worm was trying to eat through your concrete floor, so you thought it would be a good idea to give him a metal jaw? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Ridiculous. I was thinking helpful, but you may have a point. I guess the worm didn't like his upgrades, and now he's got it in for me. But why now? That's what I can't figure out. Uh, but it doesn't matter. He's coming for us, and we have to be prepared. Uh, with hairpins? Ah, uh, one man's hairpin is another man's customized sonic steak. You guys will plant a line of these in the ground in front of the shed. They'll emit a sonic pulse that should drive the worm away. Uh, like an invisible dog fence. If your dog was, you know, a worm. But listen closely, they have to stay upright in order for the pulse to flow correctly. If any of them get knocked over... Yeah, yeah, we got it. Make a perimeter. Keep them straight, save your life. Just another day in the sandbox. Bug says, I don't care if you waxed it. That's not my leg! <laughs> 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 right? It's funny. Wait a minute, did you hear something? No. Do you something? Yeah, you're imagining things. Okay, okay, I got one. Knock, knock. What? No! Ah, it's always something. <laughs> What was that? I thought I saw something. Yeah, look, kid, we've been busting hump all morning. Just relax, let us enjoy our day. Well, now that you mention it, those stakes would make some excellent goalposts. Huh? Zach races the ball down the field as he looks for an opening. Will he find one? Uh, are we supposed to be doing something? Uh, yeah, playing defense. Right, got it. What's defense? This is how humans spend their free time? <sighs> Can we get back to eating now? First, I need you to go stand between those two stakes. Come on, this will only take a minute. What I wouldn't give for a one-inch tall hardware store. Ah, oh, well, at least I know the is out there to do the police standing guard. Uh, I'm having second thoughts about this. Chowser, if you block this shot, it starts on me. Okay, let's see if that did it.
I was so close to calibration! <laughs> Just uh, catch up with you later then. <laughs> Gramps. Sorry, uh, but the good news is we're almost there. Just a few more parts to go. I know, Gramps. We'll get there. Just watch out for the tarantula with lawnmower blades for feet. He's got it in for me. A what? <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Actually, not kidding. <laughs> Oh, 
It's not a pretty word, but it is worth 13 points in Scrabble. <laughs> Imagine snail shell bits everywhere. Splatter art. Pavement pizza! <laughs> Am I the only one getting hungry? <laughs> Alright. How's about I shoot you into a wall and then ask you the same question? Yeah, he's fine. So, did I hit 100? The needle says no. I'm really sorry about that, Sid. Oh, I'm almost done, folks! Don't ever make me the victim of your stupid chance! <laughs> Bowser didn't do that on purpose, Sid. It was a total accident. Honest. Delivery! <laughs> to buddy up again. Cool! Not interested. No, seriously, the three hombres? Childhood chums. Charlie, Fast Eddie, and me. Every year they get together. Every year I decline. Is that why you've been so stressed all week? Mm, it's complicated. Dude, you should totally go! Just to unwind a few days, hang out with your homies. Not going. Maybe they used to make you feel bad, but remember, that was the old you. I mean, time to show them the amazing, heroic Sid we know and love. Show them the new Sid 2.0. You'll feel a million times better. And I'll even go with you for moral support. Yeah, Sid, go! Yeah, do it! Yeah, Sid! Fine, just cork your cake holes, kitties. You win! Oh. Hey, Charlie, you think Sid'll show? <laughs> that big weenie? <laughs> well, I wish he was coming. Why do we have this? None of us can hold a dart. That's the joke! <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of jokes, look who it is! Sid! Hey, Sid, old buddy, how you been? Uh, adequate. <laughs> Funny as ever. You kill me, Sid. Hey, did you know he was a kidder kid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Life of the party. Watch. <laughs> Guys, fake salt. You almost gave him a heart attack. Lighten up, Captain Bring Down. Sid loves this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you okay? You serious? Look, this is your chance to sort these guys out. <gasps> hey, you want to prank them good? Show them who's top snail around here? Eh, I may regret this in my memoir, but uh, <laughs> I'll bite. What's your plan? Three words, Sid. Buy on X. Okay, guys. The first one to reach the laundry line and come back wins. Okay, okay, now let me get this straight. If Sid here wins this race, then me and Eddie got to... Uh, Apologize to him. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. What does Charlie get if Sid loses? <laughs> yeah, what about me, huh? What does Charlie get? Uh, if you win, 
you get, uh, me. Yeah, I'll be your slave for a week. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Someone new to torment? <laughs> Delio! <laughs> Putty in our hands. Just do not let them see the wheels. You clean his clock and the last lap is ours. So listen up, racers. Follow the track, no shortcuts. Whoever crosses the finish line first wins. <laughs> Get ready to put on your little maid outfit, kid. I'll need my shell polished after this dusty race. In your dreams, slime bud. Okay, on your mark. Get set. And since I can't hold a starting pistol, bang! Oh, totally awesome. 
awesome! <laughs> oh, yeah! See you next time, right? Well, what you say, I'll think about it. <laughs> Don't think too hard, you'll break your tuckus! <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> tuckus! <laughs> oh, I see you, buddy! Oh, see you, guys! I'm proud of you, Sid. You finally showed those guys what you're made of. Well, thanks, but uh, I gotta admit, buddy, for me, it's kind of bittersweet. Bittersweet? Why? <laughs> now I don't know when I'll ever get to see you in that maid's outfit. Whoa! This is our secret, Sid. Now this is a deal that will make us both happy. I get one of those wretched insectables, and you... Well, you get back your popularity. Oh, trust me, Honeyflower. <laughs> it's the win-win. And you're positive you can capture that wormy green thing? Oh, I'll succeed. No male caterpillar alive can resist the charms of Peggy. <laughs> oh, how delightful! <laughs> What's this? Is poor Chowser about to lose his freedom and his heart? <laughs> Will there be anything left of the doughy jolt when they're all done? Ooh, let's see how it all comes out. <laughs> With that whole ant situation, Zach. No sweat. But we got a bark, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I ate those holes in the cheese you were supposed to give them in the trade. <laughs> so now they think they got Swiss cheese. But next time, Chowser. <gasps> Chowser? <laughs> Chowser? Uh, Chowser, buddy? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, <laughs> Oh, you're alive! Uh, oh, my head. What happened? Was it the cheese? <gasps> she happened. Huh? Girl caterpillar. <laughs> A girl caterpillar? Really, Zach? She's the most beautiful girl caterpillar that has ever wriggled the earth. Chowser? Uh, be right back. Chowser, what's the problem? I think she likes you. Me? I'm not fit to comb her eyelashes! Be cool, Chowser. She must like you. Why? Well, you're acting like a psycho and she's still here. <laughs> oh, uh, you make a good point. Look, you're my buddy. I'll help you out. Really? You know how? Uh, well, no, but I watch a lot of music videos. It's easy. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hi, big guy. <laughs> Hi? Uh, okay, go with that. Ask her if she wants to go eat with you. Like what? Uh, berries. Uh, yeah, there's some at the shed. I've got to get this part back to Gramps anyway. Uh, I'll be back in a flash with some berries. <laughs> Don't go! I can't do this alone! <laughs> sure you can. You're an insectable. Do us proud. <laughs> I will! Oh, you us proud. So, what? So, where have you been all my life? I, 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 Or we can just do it this way. Be back soon. I 
<laughs> we're here to help you crash. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adela said you were crashing and we should help. So should we like, you know, smash you to the ground? Huh? No, you idiot. I'm working here. You, you. Chowser, time to put this whole either. situation in rivers. Science means humiliating Adila's roaches by riding them like surfboards on her pond. Yeah, and did you see the look on Adila's face when we catapulted that old party balloon full of slime at her pop? Priceless! Oh, that was epic! And hey, what about when Chowser lassoed that squirrel and it chased Adila's whole crew into the next yard? Yeah, way to go, Chowser! Uh, Chowser? Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. Whoa. Uh, Chowser, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm just nervous. Oh, everything's gonna be so different. Huh? W what do you mean? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Fine! <laughs> Wait for us, Chowser! Right behind you. Not really. Hey, Gramps! We did it! We got the Shrinkinator's Ionic Alternator! Gramps? Hey! What do know? Huh? Dear team, I've discovered a special dandelion spore in the garden that's either really poisonous or really delicious. Let's hope it's the second one. Don't touch my workshop! Oh, well, looks like he'll be back tonight. Hey, you know what that means. Tacos for lunch. Chowser, didn't you hear Zach? Yeah, that's great, guys. Uh, sorry I can't join you. I've really got to be getting ready. Things have to be just right before everything changes. Getting ready? Changing? <gasps> Is he talking about what I think he's talking about? No way. I thought Gramps told us it wasn't possible. What, Chowser skipping lunch? <laughs> no, Chowser. You know, changing. We should go check on him. Check on him changing? Doesn't even wear clothes. What? <gasps> oh, changing. Well, that didn't take long. Ooh, it looks like our heroes have arrived just in time for Chowser's re-birthday party. And what it lacks in presents and party hats, it more than makes up for in giant, pulsating, pooper sacks of mystery. And what will pop out? <laughs> that would ruin the surprise. <laughs> Come on, Chowser! Come on! Go, go, go! <laughs> 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 Look 
himself. Is that normal? Well, sure sounds like himself. Yep, that's Chowser, all right. Congratulations! Chowser, we're so happy for you. Uh, Chowser? Hey, Chowser! Hey, Chowser, how about we go outside and race? You know, test those new wings out. <laughs> uh, Chowser? Why don't... Will you stop calling me Chowser? Uh, okay. What do you want us to call you? Your Highness. Yeah, your Highness. I like the sound of that. What? <laughs> now, wait just a <laughs> minute. No. Well, who's he think he is? This is bound to be a giant adjustment for him. He'll settle back to his old self in no time, you'll see. He needs our support, no matter what. No matter what. Fine. Hey, fly girl, rub my feet! <laughs> now, you, robo arm, make me some lunch! Sure thing, buddy. And you, slide bag, clean my wings. Why, you I said, clean my wings. Uh, here's your lunch. Forget your lunch. What's for dinner? I want it now. Uh, we were planning on a. I want a mushroom souffle with an aged milkweed base. Pronto, peon. Okay. I know he's been through a lot, and we have to be understanding, but come on! Yeah, I am this close to telling him off. I know, guys, I know! He's really ticking me off, too. But just a little longer, until he settles in. He's a friend, we can't abandon him now. No, but can we tie him up and toss him in a mason jar until he settles down? No! Let's just get what we need for dinner and try to get through tonight, okay? So, uh, have we totally given up on the tossing him in a jar idea? Because I thought that was, uh, uh very Im Im immature. Oh, Chowser better appreciate this. Milkweed makes my hands all stick. What was that? Huh? <gasps> What's with all the noise? What is going on? Uh... Oh, the insectables! Thank goodness you're here! Me and my friends were heading back home when this giant yellow thing came out of nowhere! They got trapped underneath! Ow! It's And delicious! The neighbor kid must have thrown it over. Probably wanted his mom to think he ate it. Let's go, team! <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Uh, okay, Willow, you get to work drilling this thing into smaller pieces. Sid, we need you to pull away the section. Chowser, you pull the end. Excuse me? You're giving me orders? No, not orders. I'm you coordinating. Like orders to me. Oh, we don't have time for this. Either help us or leave. <laughs> See you around, Lame Brains. Why, you! Uh, ah. uh, hit it! Uh, hit it. Uh, I'm free! Free at last from that delicious prison. Don't mention it, guys. You're welcome! Although it would have gone so much faster if Chowser helped. I, I mean, we should be mindful of Chowser's uh, emotional state and... Uh... Give him a piece of our minds! He can boss us around, but a dangerous innocent book? Or, or we're kicking you 
off the team. Come again. You're kicking me off the team. I'm kicking you off the team. Get out! Here comes a pair now. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Oh no, Gramps! Oh, we have to clean this place up. Ah, it's good to be home. Huh. Boy, do I have some crazy dandelion stories. Anything change while I was gone? Uh, nope, not a thing. <laughs>
Excuse me, Fred! Very impeccable, but it's my mission to majestically plant the Fred flag in those delicious layers of crust, tomato sauce, cheese, and... and... Pepperoni? Pepperoni! Yeah. Oh no! This is not good! Like, ew! Don't touch me! Ew. Yeah. Yeah. 
Lydia, take this. <laughs> I'll take care of these two. <laughs> Get going. Chelsea, help me. I'm stuck. <laughs> Later, sucker. Okay, who's first? <laughs> <laughs> Disciple, your training evolves yet again with a new lesson. New lesson? He who has arms and legs free gets the pizza. <laughs> what? That, that's a terrible lesson. I am a club with the pizza birds. Uh, and how does everyone know what pizza is? <laughs> seem to have found themselves in a tight spot. <laughs> and if they get squeezed any tighter, their delicious terror might just ooze out. <laughs> Hurry, Gramps. We need to get back to Second Chowser. There's three ducks 
out there with that heavy cart, especially if the roaches show up. Whoa, careful there, Gramps. These wheels are delicate instruments. Delicate instruments that went kablooey at the worst possible time. Face it, Wills. You need my macho muscles to drag that thing back here. In your dreams. Oh, and you're welcome for getting you back safely. So what's up, Gramps? You fit for service or what? Not sure. It would help if I knew what the problem was. Gramps! Whoa, sorry, Gramps. That wasn't me. Understood, Sid, but I hereby remove you from the field. No missions until I figure out what's going on. R removed from the field? That almost sounds like a vacation. <laughs> Somebody give me a drink with a tiny umbrella in it. And some munchies. Uh, unsalted. I'm off, Gramps. We'll get that big beast back here somehow. And don't worry about Sid. He's in good hands. Hey, Willow, on the way back, pick me up some bronzer. I've got a tan to work on. <sighs> it's not easy being a hero. <sighs> Whatever. Did I ever tell you about the time I had to fake my own death? <laughs> Just tip grandpa. Never tried taking more than two girls to the prop. Did I ever tell you about the other time I wore this uh, mustache for a week? <laughs> the ladies love the stash. here out in the open. We'll be fine. A little help here? Don't get me wrong. I love honey like my own reflection. The road's heavy. What do we do? <laughs> Dylan needs to get the bees working on the low-carb version of something. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want any trouble. Just keep moving. <laughs> That, wouldn't you? Uh, I would, yes! Hey, is that a shrink and ate a pot? No. Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> so we're gonna get the insectables and the shrink and ate a pot today. <laughs> it's like a one for two. I, I mean, the, the two for one, carry the six. More like a none for none. Huh? Those are your last words, puny? <sighs> no imagination. Maybe a good clobbering will help. Not if I can help it. Willow! But, but we're Sid! Working on his tan. Now back off, bozos. We're taking our part and we're leaving. And nothing's gonna be in our ah! Oh, ah! 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 I'm warning you. Dehydrated water! 
a flex fork, a self-propelled mohawk. <laughs> I was uh, going through a phase. Uh, that's great, Gramps. But what about her? Ah, uh, your chips were a great deal. But don't worry, I only use the highest quality carpets. with Explodo brand controller tips? I don't know much about computers, but that doesn't sound good. Relax, gang. These chips work every bit as well as regular chips if you just zap their PRAM within the first year. And if you don't? Uh, well, uh, according to this, they uh, sort of explode. Explode? <laughs> yep. Way to allay our fears, Gramps. Uh, but like I said, only if you don't zap the PRAM. Should have plenty of time for that. That keeps what? using Explode Obra controller chips. Your chip will terminate in four minutes. What? Four minutes? I can't explode, Gramps. I have a date tonight. I don't want to terminate! Gramps, how could you? We're all gonna explode just so you can save a few bucks! We can be mad at Gramps later. Right now, he has to reset our chips. Uh, yes, I just need to consult the manual. Termination in. Well, then here's an idea, Gramps. Consult the manual! I'd love to, but it's up there. Of course it is. Oh, no! How do we reach it? Leave that to me. Yeah. 
On second thought, this is still a sick day for me. Let them handle it. Hey, Gramps, where's that, uh, that, uh, umbrella drink? Yeah, uh, don't forget the munchies. Ow, <laughs> sit all boy. You're a genius. The team actually believed I had to bail on the mission so I could visit my sick grandmother. Ha! Just... What have I done? It looks like Sid's decision has led to a collision. Will his plan to skip work expose him as a liar? Or will Sid's day of vacation be one of devastation? Of all the selfish, pig-headed, irresponsible schemes anyone's pulled, Sid, this takes the cake. I didn't take anyone's cake. No, you abandoned your team. And then you injured Cliff, the mail carrier. Oh, so sorry, Cliff. It was an accident. It's okay, Sid. Accidents happen. Last week, I took a wrong turn and walked up the business end of a skunk. Ew. That's what my wife said. <laughs> No hard feelings. I just need to figure out how to deliver today's packages. Uh, don't worry, Cliff. I'm sure Sid knows just the person to fill in for you. Don't you, Sid? Or uh, Zach? No. Willow? No. Chowser? No! They're all busy doing their jobs. Unlike some of us. Huh. Fine, Cliff. I'd be happy to deliver your packages for you. That's great, Sid. They're right over there. What? How am I supposed to carry all of those? I mean, I'd use my huge muscular arms, but to... Leave that to me. Oh, not bad, Gramps. So, uh, how long is Cliff gonna be, uh, out of commission? He should be back on his feet, uh, Thursday. So tomorrow? No, Sid. Tomorrow is Wednesday. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I tend to mix up dates after I've, uh, been in a collision. Get some rest, Cliff. I haven't even told you where the other package is There's no time! Special delivery. Oh, well, hello, stranger. Stranger? Oh, not for long, I hope. I'm Sid, and you're stunning. <laughs> Otherwise known as Rebecca. What brings a slimy, smoothie like you to a sleepy corner like this? Love. And uh, what better way to express my love than. Well, actually, it's a... Uh... Very romantic move, Romeo. And you built this whole box getter for the sole purpose of making sure your gift got to me safely? Ah, <laughs> you said it. Nothing's too good for you, Becca, baby. A hammer? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, a hammer. Well, what better object to uh, symbolize the uh, strength or power of my feelings for you? So how about a date? <laughs> Silly. Well, how can I say no after such an unusual gift? Oh, great. So, uh, Zen Garden tonight, uh, sunset? I'll be there with Belson. <laughs> and also this hammer. <laughs> Doing here. Oh, Carla, my queen, you must be tired because you've been running through my mind all day. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to uh, swing by to, uh, you know, gaze into those beautiful eyes of yours. Sid, you don't need to keep wooing me. I already said I'd go out with you, remember? I don't! 
I look like the kind of girl that likes dolls. A doll? That's not a doll. That's a, 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 a sparring dummy. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. Give it a punch. Hey, that's not bad. Thanks, Sid. Whatever you say, sweet fang. See you in two days for our date. Wait, did he say in two days? Nah, I couldn't have. Her date's tonight. Which reminds me, I should finish my workout and get ready. Oh, where is Cliff with that doll for my niece? Green package. It's in the green package. Oh, she's gonna be mad. Gonna be mad. Gonna be mad. Uh, hello. <gasps> You're not Cliff. Or are you? Cliff, little wizard, turn you into a snail. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a great sense of humor. Hi, I'm uh, Sid. Sid? Whoa, no, no, it's just something I threw together to do this. Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna see if it's sticking. They're out to get me, you know. Uh, what the heck? Why? Is something wrong with my head? Are they trying to scare my brain? Uh, no, I, I, I made this hat just for you. Uh, it uh, prevents anyone from reading your mind. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No, oh, thank you, Sid. I love it. Now the bugs are <laughs> Why do I always fall for the crazy ones? <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. Say, this is uh, probably a terrible idea, but uh, how about a date? Huh? <laughs> Tuesday night in the uh, Zen Garden? Hmm? Oh, boy. That's it. See you, too. What's that, Jorge? You're right. Tuesday night is tonight. Woo! I'm gonna get busy. Three dates in one week. I just set a personal record. Just call me Snail Anova. Huh? <laughs> what now? I have a date to get to. Hmm. What would Cliff do? Now, Sid, if your packages fall out and you have a date to get to, don't worry about it. Just leave them on the ground. Your love life is way more important than delivering the mail. Cliff's right. I've got a date to get to. Supposed to meet a, a date? Uh, <laughs> what are you all doing here? I was uh, supposed to have a date with. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, girls, <laughs> don't. Uh... Those were the gifts, weren't they? You were just giving us each other's packages to get dates with us. Yeah, packages that were supposed to be delivered by.
great, better than great, perfect, no problems at all. Totally didn't get jumped by any of your customers <laughs> on an unrelated note. I'm never going on another date for as long as I live. Mm. Go to bed now, bye. Hello? Huh. Anyone here? Oh, crud. For looking for Sid, he gave us all each other's mail to get dates with all of us. All for the same night. <laughs> Sid, is this true? <laughs> what can I say? Delivered mail is uh, one of the very few things I'm not great at. Guess I'm off the job, eh, Cliff? <laughs> Think again, Sid. Sorry about the mix-up there, and sorry it's all stretched out. <laughs> huh. It's not a gift from me, it's just a piece of mail. That I'm delivering a day late because I'm a selfish, self-centered snail with no respect for the hard-working ants and termites of the Postal Service. <sighs> Happy? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks, Cliff. I think I'll stick to perilous run-ins with Adilla and her giant posse of ruthless goons. Really? Oh, you bet. It's a lot safer than delivering mail. on the insect. Our food! Who? Who took our food? What's going on? Why is everyone avoiding us? <laughs> really? <laughs> Of us out there committing crimes in our name. It was you. You're the ones who've been pretending to be us. Simmer down. I think I know how to settle this. We're going to hold a competition. Two teams enter and one team leaves. <laughs> so the insectables have finally met their match. <laughs> and now it's a contest to pit skill against luck. Real against who will win? <laughs> All right, whichever team is victorious will be declared the real insectable. And the other team, well, they'll have to answer to us. You will be judged on three categories. Time, point, and effectiveness. <laughs> Let the game... No problem. We got this one in the bag. You think so? Of course. These are carnival games. I play them every year at the state fair. Ooh, last year, I even won a stuffed pink unicorn with a glittery mane. Well, are you adorable? His name was Bruiser. For this first test, whoever can knock the most acorns off with this pebble... <laughs> Watch and learn. Oh, no, oh go get it. Show them who's boss. Well done, well done. Oh, she cheated! Oh, I'm Spike 
<laughs> Get used to it, losers. It's okay. We can still pull this off. Sid and Chowser won't let us down. You hear that, Chowser? It's up to us. As usual. Oh, boy. Go, Sid! Go, Insectoisectables! Go, Sid! The first snail to complete ten laps wins! I'm too quick for you! On your mark! Get the permit! <laughs> 
that is a great convenient. <laughs> well, we may have been wrong about you. Yeah, sorry, guys. You're even better than the real insectables. Uh, Jonathan, we are the real insectables. Oh, right. <laughs> of course they are. Boy, <laughs> we sure shot blackbirds. with the insectoids. Uh, 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 insectable. Contagion? I'd hate to see their friends fall victim to their human bone plague! <laughs> Gramps, how much time do we have left? We've been walking for hours and there's still no sign of that root! Uh, actually, it's been eight minutes. <sighs> Just be straight with me, Gramps. I can take it. <laughs> no worries, Zach. I've found the cure! <gasps> you have? Yes! Voila! You're cured! <laughs> and that's great! You've... Wait a minute. Is this... Ketchup? Cramps? What is going on? <laughs> you got me! We don't have Tanagrand flu, Zach. I made it up! I painted spots on you while you were sleeping. What? Why? Because it was hilarious! And, and, well, I just realized that ever since you shrunk down, we barely spent any time together. Just you and I. And that's what this summer was supposed to be about. Oh, Gramps, it's okay. We've had our hands full saving the world from Adila. And feeding Chowser. I know, but but also there's there's something I, I, I want to... Uh... Something you want to what? Uh, oh, huh? First things first. Eh, we've got plenty of time. Gramps, what are you doing? What every grandfather should be doing with his grandson. Camping! Oh, camping? Cool! Oh, roasting marshmallows, telling ghost stories. I love camping. So where's the tent? A tent? My dear boy. Ta-da! We're gonna make the greatest, most advanced camping compound this yard has ever seen. Oh, so you wanna take everything fun and relaxing about camping and replace it with work. Fun work! Uh-huh. What are those two hairless apes up to now? Those look like plants. But plants for what? 
I need high and low. <laughs> Wait right here, ma'am. <laughs> How long have you two been standing there? <laughs> oh, well, it's two o'clock now, and I was born on a Tuesday, so uh, one and one is eleven. Ah, uh, uh, never mind. Get out there and find out what the humans are scheming. But don't do anything else yet. Then I'll make a plan. I'm not letting you mess it up like always. Always? That's a bit harsh. Mm, no, she's right. Just oh. get going! <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> 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 Chicken out, old man. He needs to know. You have to tell him. You can do it. Hey, Zach, let's uh, let's have a chat. So, how's uh, school? Well, once I go back, I'm pretty sure I have a lock on winning best what I did on my summer vacation essay. Oh uh, yes, your dad always knocked those out of the park. And uh, well, speaking of your dad, my dad. What about him? Uh, yes, um, you see... Uh, now, what am I saying? We have a shelter to build. Uh, we'll need some timbers. Oh, Gramps! My dad! What were you... <sighs> what? How oh, great! Now, of all times... No, I'm not letting those clowns ruin this. Uh, what's that, Gramps? You say that there's an important Shrinkinator part buried underneath the Dung Beetle's dung heap? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> you are thinking? Oh, your head's gonna explode? <laughs> yeah. I didn't say anything about a Shrinkinator part. Uh, neither did I. So, what were you saying about my dad? It's, uh, well, uh, here, help me with the media room. Media room? No time for chit-chat. There's no shrinking the pot in here. Hey, no, did you find anything? Uh, mm, just some digested chestnuts. <laughs> Maybe we didn't hear them right. We should head back and listen closer. Uh, careful! That rod needs to be sticking straight up if we're going to get a good angle for the solar panel. How are we going to make a solar panel? Uh, Fashion an alloy out of amber and shrimp. Assuming I can piggyback a signal off the delta band and shut the grip. I knew air conditioning was a long shot anyway. Yeah, we really are roughing it, aren't we? <laughs> Reminds me of the time your dad and I built a bike powered ceiling fan. Yeah, about my dad. You were starting to tell me something? Uh, well, Zach. <laughs> what is that smell? <laughs> Strange. A uh, uh, muscle flexing tournament happening right now in the tree snot hole? Oh, you don't say. Muscle flexing tournament? Yeah, we are so there. <laughs> Uh, muscle... What? Zach, are you feeling all right? I'm fine, Gramps. Now, about my dad. Dad, I know what'll make you feel better. Relaxing in a pair of Adirondack style easy chairs. <laughs> Get that first place trophy ready. <laughs> We're here for the flexing tournament. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, where is everybody? Oh, there, in the shadows. Uh, wait a minute. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Bounce, bang, bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm looking at blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, one, two, pack, four. That was a trap. 
I knew that spider was too spindly to flex. What's wrong, kiddo? Your, your mind's somewhere else. <laughs> it was the roaches. What do you mean? They've been spying on us. I was trying to get rid of them so they didn't ruin your camping trip. Zach, that's so... so thoughtful. Really? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, too, Zach. Uh, I've been wanting to tell you something for a while now, but, well, uh... You see, your father... <laughs> Let me guess. I'll take care of it. No, we'll take care of it. <laughs> Look, yeah, we scared them off. <laughs> Those fraidy cats. Hey, look, an unassembled pair of Adirondack easy chairs. Who goes Ooh. there? You dare trespass on my domain? What gives you the right? <laughs> I have dealt with the humans, and now I will deal with you! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that was great! Oh, I can't believe that worked! Really? Well, okay, yeah, I'm actually not surprised, but still, that was awesome! I was just gonna do some bionic action moves and shoot my bolo, but hey, we're roughing it. Right. Sometimes going back to basics is just the ticket. We're camping. We should be having fun. Especially when dealing with the dealer schools. Yeah, thanks, Gramps. This is fun. Even if our vacation home didn't turn out exactly as planned. Hey, Zach, give me your arm. What the? Uh, how did you do that? <sighs> I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve, boy. Well, your sleeve. This is all we need. That and some marshmallows. One thing at a time. Uh, reminds me of when your dad and I would do this. You look like him, you know? Really? Spit an image. <sighs> he was about your age when... He started helping me build the Shrinkinator. Wait, what? My dad helped build the Shrinkinator? Gramps! Good night, Gramps. Bug insides sounds delicious. I'm getting hungry. And I'm sure a willow playing detective is going to serve up a feast of delectable problems. <laughs> Coming in faster than a hummingbird humming in a humming contest. Like the case of who stole the 
the Mantis' treasure woodchip collection? Answer, a termite. He thought it was dinner. Why, it looks like a salad. Or the case of who stole the snail's shell. Answer, nobody. He was actually a slug the whole time. Oh, that explains it. Perfectly. I felt it was time to tell the team what I'd been doing. I was more nervous than a rabbit at an all-you-can-eat coyote buffet, but I had to try. Hi, guys. I have something I really want to say to everybody. Uh, sure, in a minute, Willow. There's something I gotta say first. One of our team has been moonlighting with an extracurricular activity that's really hurting the team, and it's just gotta stop. This whole speed dating thing is getting out of control. You're never around. Well, yeah, it takes a lot of time. It's snail speed dating. Snails. This is serious, people. The Shrinkinator's important. The whole team has just got to stay focused on our work. No exceptions. Okay, Willow, what did you want to tell everybody? Uh, nothing. No big deal. What was I going to do now? I made up my mind. I would give up the whole detecting game. But then he walked through my door. One case I just had to take. The case... Stolen sugar! My prized possession! It was a gift from my grandmother! Passed down generation to generation! And now it's been stolen! Please! Please help! What could I say? Except... I'll take the case! I was on the trail of that sugar quicker than a termite heading to a wood convention. Picking up the word on the street. Whispers in the yard. In confusion, I followed me. It took a lot of watching. And a lot of time. A lot of time. Willow. It's her week to wash the dishes. They're piling up and I'm hungry. Chowser, you never use dishes. <laughs> All right, I forgot. <laughs> Weird though, it's not like Willow to be shirking her duties. <gasps> you don't think she's in some kind of trouble, do you? Ah, uh, probably. Oh no, she's in trouble, no! Calm down, everybody. I'm sure she's fine. But I tell you what, we'll hire that new detective everyone is talking about, just to make sure. I was in my office one morning reading my thank you mail when suddenly I was struck. Oh, oh, no, Guys, no, 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 no. what are we gonna do? Mr. Great Detective, uh, we have this friend, Willow, and we're worried about her. Think you could find out why she's not home much anymore? Oh, uh, uh, two things, uh, I mean, Mr. Human Guy I've ever met. I'll track down this, uh, what's her name? Willow? Willow! Right, Willow, I'll track her down. Rick Singham always gets his man. <laughs> Even if that man's a girl who's lost. Did you get the idea? I like that detective. Yeah, seems cool. If anybody can find out what's going on with Willow, that detective sure can. I can feel it. Excuse me. Have you seen this? It's my sugar treasure. Have you seen it? It's been stolen. My prize possession. Oh, no. Sorry, haven't. Excuse me, ladies. Have you seen this? This neighborhood's getting pretty rough. Yeah, it's enough to make a guy want to hide his shell all day and take a nap. That's what you do every day. This was bad. I had to find some way to let my friends know I was okay without giving away my secret identity. So, <clears throat> you see, Willow is mine. I've been trailing her, and, uh... She murdered someone! I fell off a cliff! Thanks, everybody! No, wait, that's me. No, 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 Willow's fine. Um, in fact, she's great. She's been missing all the time because uh, she's taking some personal time. Carl was relaxing. Nothing suspicious at all. 
you know, um, harmless stuff. Uh, extremely harmless and relaxing activities. Like, um, uh, an old age shiatsu massage from the mantis. Napping on a lily pad. <laughs> like that. So, uh, everything's cool as a cucumber. Don't worry. Okay? Okay. Right now. That ought to ease their minds. Willow needed to relax for the first time in her life? If I was looking for evidence that the world was ending, <laughs> this be it. Well, I don't know about the end of the world, but Willow's got to be in some heavy trouble. We'd better keep an eye on her. I still had to find that sugar. I had a fresh lead. Some rumors I heard around the trash can that I just had to follow. What's going on? Willow! Willow! What Willow? Willow's not here right now! <laughs> Fine. Well, we just saw her come in here. There's got to be an explanation for this. After him! Nice job, Steel Sugar. When are we gonna split it up? Some crazy crime ring here? This is not going well. Gotta at least get this sugar back to that ant. After him! Sid from showing up. Hey, Willow, I gotta say, I think you being the great detective is the best thing ever. Yeah, me too, Wills. Really? Oh, thanks, guys. And in fact, you know what I'm thinking? We should all join your team. What do you say? Insectable detectables. In the yard and on the case. <laughs> 